What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're in a brand new game called Frostpunk. It's coming out on Steam very very soon. Uh, link is in the description down below if you want to check it out yourself. It is a city builder mixed with a survival game. Uh, think about how uh, Banish meets like this war of mine meets uh, like, it almost kind of reminds me of uh, they are uh, they there will be billions or uh, we are billions without all the zombies. You have to travel around find yourself a spot start up a generator keep your people alive in the cold hush hush winters of all day <laughs> of every day in this new post-apocalyptic world so let's hop on in i believe i messed around with the audio settings i did okay good <laughs> a new home ready set let's go a new home fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now, that this world, as we know it, has crumbled. We have to survive. All right, so somehow, some way, we found this generator in the middle of a crater, and we have a bunch of people, and we got to get warm fighting the cold. Uh, we need to get the generator working. It provides the heat and power to other buildings. Without it, we'll freeze to death. Stockpile some coal and start the generator. Okay, so here is our generator. Here are all of our people. We have 80 people. Everyone's kind of not, 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 not happy. They're, they're, they're not. So, around here we got some resources here. We got some coal. We have ourselves some um, looks like a wood, like wood piles. Still steel wreckage. We have wood crates, and we have coal piles. So, uh, what we can do is then kind of like uh, if you say like banished, we can assign different workers to get certain things. So, I'm gonna spread this out. I'm gonna spread it in. We've got wood pile, wood crates. I'm gonna apply 15 people to this work. Get after this work. On health operation. Temperature chilly. It's very, very chilly. So we gotta start building some homes. Nice. Now, our generator. This thing has different levels to it. Generator is off. Click to turn it on. One temperature and all the heat. Check this out though. This I really, really dig. So when you assign people and workers to go out, they actually make trails of snow. Well, trails in the snow. So there's plenty of snow. They don't need to make a trail of it. It's everywhere. Right now we have 80 people here, and all 80 are homeless. Why are they not doing something? Why? Or oh, why are they not working? Let's max them out. Pull it to the max. Cole, max them out. Hey, man. Get working, people. Okay. So now our, uh, our uh, stockpiles are up here. We have 22 coal, 38 wood, 15 steel. It's all getting better now. So now, do we have enough money? Uh, do we have coal? The heart of the city heats a circular zone around its uh, powers, all steam hubs connected to it. If it shuts down, all heat zones disappear after a few hours. If this thing breaks, if this thing blows up, it's game over. That's it. It's a wrap. Cannot survive. Without the heat, let's go ahead and turn it on. Oh, we will. Lighting fires up, baby. We're lighting fires. So now we have two different things. We have hope and discontent, and we have to try and keep those in a nice, level, steady base. Go to keep everyone a little bit happy. Uh, they got to have hope. Now temperature. So let's check this out. You can move the camera with your mouse while holding the right mouse button. Uh, okay. You can also use WASD keys or just uh, move the mouse pointer to the edge of the screen to zoom in and out. Use the wheel to rotate. Gotcha. Resources and workforce. Resource management is crucial to the city's survival. You need coal to power the generator. Wood and steel are necessary for construction and research. Steam cores are a key part of advanced buildings. Raw food is used to prepare for food rations in the cookhouse. Later in the game, more types of resources may appear. Temperature. 
The temperature inside a building depends on the power setting of the generator. If the building is in a heat zone, that, uh, that uh, building's insulation and conditions outside. Uh, there are six temperature levels. Comfortable, livable, chilly, cold, very cold, freezing, controlling time. Uh, you can speed up time by clicking the game speed buttons found to the left and uh, left of the temperature at the top of the screen. You can also bind keyboard shortcuts to make the game speed uh, and the settings. I will adjust that. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate that. Very, very cool. So, up here we also have raw food and we have food rations. Um, when it comes to grabbing all of these guys, what we're going to do here, we have construction, we have people, health, wealth, we got a medical post, we got tents, foods, we have gathered food with our hunter's hut, and then cookhouse will cook up the meats or whatever we find. Um, resource depot, gathering post, all good things to have. Workshop, this way we can build new buildings, new technologies, and gather uh, much stuff. We also have roads down here, build streets. Uh, these little panels, like these little wood panels, these are technically the roads, and underneath those roads, it looks like there's like a little, I can't zoom in, this is as far as I can zoom in, but it almost looks like there's a coil that goes underneath here, so that the generator can kind of heat around. The further you will get from the generator, the colder it's going to get, baby. So, let's go ahead. And we need some tents for people. Because people are homeless. And that's no bueno, my friend. No bueno. Uh, four for 80 people? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Now, since everybody right now is currently working... Oh, by the way, temperature gauge. We hit this, it shows exactly what our temperature gauge is looking like. So... Everything looks like it's nice and warm, comfortable, livable. We're right next to the heat source, so they should be a-ok -okay as far as warmth. But it's not gonna, not gonna do, it's not gonna do the trick for uh, quite some time. Now, all the workers that don't have a job, they are going to be working as builders. So if they don't, we got 20 people that are kind of feeling crapless layabouts. Most of the, most of them are children. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like time to rest. So, that's another thing. They work in shifts. So we have free time. Uh, Six o'clock in the morning. Is there any way I can do that? Right, right, right. Build streets, construct buildings, dismantle existing buildings. Right, 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 right. Good, good. But our work time, people will start work around six o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> They'll get up. They have two hours before their shift starts at 8 a.m. So in between that six and 8 a.m. period, if you have any kind of building projects that, are ha that have to get taken care of, these guys will do the trick. But then they got to go to work. Now, there are different laws in the game where you can provide different ways for you to uh, basically run the civilization. I'm gonna start building the cookhouse here too. While we have some wood, we're gathering, we're getting everything together. Now this is the Book of Laws. And I love this art, I like the ink, the ink blot. Uh, I forget what it's called, it's like a mixture of ink blotting and then there's also like little debris flying off of it. I like that art style, it's nice. The Book of Laws, adaptation, find ways to battle hunger, sickness, apathy, adaptation. Adaptation. So, up here we have child labor, safe jobs, child shelters. If you click on these, it'll open up kind of an idea of what you're looking at. Child labor, safe jobs. There aren't enough hands to do all the work. Will allow children to be employed in the safe workplaces like cookhouses and hothouses. Good. I'm sorry. Sorry. Coffee burps. Apologies. Um, now I can sign that. But children can work in safe workplaces, but it pr uh, provides us more. These are tiny hands. We need to put them in dangerous jobs. Because their little tiny fingers can, in, can get in into the greasy moving parts, you know what I mean? How am I supposed to get to all the way to the center of this generator that's moving without a child's hand? Um, hope will also fall slightly. And child workers can be injured in accidents. So that's no way else. Of course, we can do child shelters. Children will uh, be safer. They stay in children's shelters during the day, and they won't cause any mischief. Whoops. New building will open up a child shelter. Hope will rise, providing all children with a place in a child shelter provides a permanent hope bonus. You will have to build a child center. But their little tiny hands can't work. I don't mind uh, not having the kids work. It just means that everybody else has to kind of pick up the slack a little bit. But I'm not sure exactly how like the day's age, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know how I don't know how the how fast time actually goes in this game just yet. So until then, 
I'm pretty sure if I sign something, I'm not sure if it's permanent either. I think we can sign something else. Corpse disposal. We'll keep dead bodies out of the beast, uh, the <laughs> beast zone. What am I talking about? Heat zone and cover them with snow. Global hull third decay. Gross. We will establish a burial ground so we can lay our dead, rest our dignity and re with respect. With respect. We also have radical treatments. We'll try everything to cure the gravely ill from invasive surgery to amputations. Gravely ill will be treated in medical posts. Hope will rise slightly. 30% of the gravely ill treated in medical posts will be left as amputees. Discontent will rise slightly. In sustained life, we can't cure the gravely ill, but we can at least keep them alive. We won't risk dangerous amputations with radical treatment. Gravely ill will be kept alive, but untreated in medical posts. Hope will rise slightly. Discontent. It's all a balancing act, folks. It's all a balancing act. So, food additives. We can add in a little... Saw pieces of sawdust. We got food filler to fill your bellies to make you feel more full. It's gross. It'll get you sick, but it'll also feed you. It'll, it'll feed you up. You're like, oh man, have myself a good meal. And soup. We can cook soup instead of full meals for uh, to feed more people with the same amount of raw food. All right. So first thing I'm going to do here: child labor. Listen, we'll put them in the cookhouses. We're going to need. We're going to need the little hands. Here, 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 here. See, now we get a little things. We toil all day, and now our kids have to work too. Kids should be learning, not working. Uh, do you know it's death outside right now? What are they gonna learn? We'll teach them a trade, how to cook. They have to become a part of society before we can integrate them and just let them just do whatever they want. Like learning, all the learning and all that jazz. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead, we'll speed up time. We have a bunch of buildings here. Our tents look like they're built up all kinds of nice and neat. And now we can kind of go into all these different characters. Select. It's Christopher Middleton. Now we can't change any of these names yet. That would be awesome if we could. I don't know if we can. But he works at the coal pile. He has he has no wife. Oh wait, spouse. Haha. <laughs> Genevieve. Oh, they're not even sleeping in the same not even sleeping in the same tents. It's probably good. Probably good so they don't bump any uglies, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Alright, cookhouse. So, we have cookhouse. But we're going to need a hunter's house as well. So let's go ahead and we'll build this up. Hunter's hut. Oh, I can't. It's like I can't build. Am I, am I out of wood? Looks like I'm out of wood. Oh, so already we have two sick, and that's probably because they are sleeping on the ground. Looking like a fool with sleeping on the ground, sleeping on the ground. So let's go ahead. How many does this fill up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough, big guy. It's gonna be real rough. All right. So our wood stockpile. We got all 15 on it. Hmm. Right. Uh, let's put some more people on this little wood crate pile here too. We got steel going in there. Got, got some more wood. My like, huh? And you we got 15 on you. All right. Get to working. But I do love this though. It's a good thing you come to Bratislava in winter time. <laughs> no, it's not good. But look at this. I look I love how they make new paths. Speaking of new paths, what we can try to do here. Alright, so we're building up some stuff. Got some food. Need twenty wood. Get that hunter's hut. And then that way we can there we go, and that unlocks. We'll put the hunter's hut right next to our food, man. It just seems right because we got got all the stuffs going on here. They're gonna build them up. This way, we can assign children. No, we can't assign children. Cookhouses, we can uh, assign children, and we'll get everything working. Now, the hunter's hut. will more people we assign to this specific thing, like here. Inoperative. Why not? Oh, we need workers. Oh, right, 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 right. You. None. You. One, two, three. Cookhouses. One, two. 
So this way we'll be making some food. Functioning, everything's a-okay. How is this working for us? Everything's good, steam level, not research yet. So we gotta keep this on the up and up. Uh, as far as hunters, hunters, ooh. All right, here, illness and healthcare. The sick can be treated safely in a medical post. The gravely ill can receive radical treatment. The gravely ill and, am oh, and amputees living in care houses get half rations. The gravely ill can be cured sa uh, safely. So, uh, this is a uh, basically just an upgrade. But if we keep the uh, the uh, if we roll with gravely ill, they'll be rolling around. We'll call be calling people stumpy, and that's not right. But at the same time. Once they get sick, they stay in the infirmary. So it gets built up a little bit with that lull. So we have Hunter's Hut, we have a hot house. Hot house will cook 30 raw food. Mmm, delicious. Number of hungry, starving people. And then we can turn the raw food into food rations. If we run out of food rations, people start eating the raw food and they start getting sick. They basically do what we can. Do what you can to survive. This crazy wackaday world. All right, city wakes up at six o'clock in the morning. People have some free time until the work shift starts at eight a.m. Unless there's construction work to do, after they finish their shift at eighteen, uh, eighteen hundred hours. Ooh, it's a long shift, bro. It's a long shift. They are free to help with construction again, which can keep them up well past midnight. You can extend the ten-hour work shift if you sign certain laws. So, certain laws will give you two different kinds of different uh, workers. One, shift time switch, so you can have people working in different shifts. Or, you can hit the emergency shift, which means everybody uh, works for 24 hours straight. People get half, uh, very, very unhappy. But you get a lot of productivity, uh, pro productivity out of it. Hunters leave the city to hunt in the frost land for food. They work from 6 p.m. and until 6 a.m. Also, they work in the evening time. Initially, they bring up uh, to 15 units of raw food from each hunt. Research upgrades to significantly increase hunt yield. Okay, so we can up we can upgrade these. Nath, Nath, duper duper Nath. Okay, so these guys are doing some work. They're they're doing the good work. They're doing the good work. So people are eating now. Oh no, what's going on here? What's that? Night is coming. Put down your tools. Put down your tools. So, uh, can I pause you? Thank you. All right, so we got one, two, three, four. There's 80 people we need to boost that up. Let's go ahead. So we got 60 people. Uh, build a road. You can build roads going in between. I like how you can go in between these roads too. I like that. I think we'll go every I think I did that okay I think that's what I did no roof over our heads captain people are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter they're falling ill from sleeping outside in this terrible cold we better do something about it. I'm going to provide shelter for everyone. But you all must work and deal with what I what I tell you to do. Just do what I tell you. Okay? Okay, so we got our tutorial. What's everything looking like for heat zones? It's all looking okay for the time being. It's not looking terrible. It's not looking great. We should be dead now. Uh, we can uh, get into some research, if you will. Okay, so we got 30 people here that aren't homeless. That'll help out significantly with these two houses. Hooses, houses, hooses, houses. Did I build a, oh. The wisdom of the crowd. Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. Don't tell me what to do, but I appreciate your kind words. I'll bear that in mind. Now with the sick people, we will have to make some sort of infirmary too. Got some angry people, y'all. It ain't good. Uh, how about? Now we are getting a little further away here, but that's okay. Hi, can I make you a thing? There we go. 
I love the art style. I really do. I'm not a cold person. I'm not a middle. This 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 is my worst nightmare, is being stuck in a very cold place. Very very cold place. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. All right. So we have 45 people. They are just they're just chilling. Everyone's got jobs. Everyone's got people. Pretty soon, everyone will have a home, and that's a start. Because the name of this episode is called A New Home. Because that's the game mode that we're in. <laughs> Original! I know, right? It's like crazy. Alright, so, we have a nice little starter home. Oh, okay. Shelter's promise fulfilled. Everyone feels relieved with a roof. Even a flapping one over their head. Hope rises. And there's nothing we can do but pretend. And ho, boom, 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 stockpile some coal, hundred, oh, okay, so we gotta get some more coal, eh? Go to get some more coal, eh? Well. Don't, I keep forgetting, like, which ones we're going, oh, how can I forget which ones we're going to? So that's got 15 workers. This, none. Let's look at nutty. All right, so each, each one can get. Okay, let's go ahead and speed up time here a little bit. We're uh, getting a little. Ooh, four sick. It's not good. It's not. It's a no bueno, my friends. It's no bueno. So let's speed up time. Do we have a road built? All right, health. Oh no, we need twenty-five wood. Let's get this rolling, kids. Three o'clock. Let's get some more people on this wood, on this wood pile here now. I don't know what happens when we uh, run out of these resources because eventually we will. There's got to be some sort of gathering spot for us to gather more, uh, more stuff, more more resources. But I'm not quite sure how. I'm sure there's going to be something that comes up. Twenty degrees below Celsius. Just put a bullet in me for real. For real. Ooh. Let's get to work. We can't let up now. We survived another night. That has to count for something. It does. It's going to count for a brand new medical post in a hot second. We have nothing to build, which is a shame because we don't have any wood. But it is morning, so there's some wood going around. Oh! 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 It's a little hanging fruit. I have to go for it. Uh, let's see here. Taking a sip of my coffee. So let's go ahead. Let's speed up time. Speed up time. Get to work, kids. Children. People. Children of all ages. Wow, I love it. I love it. If this were the scenario, this is exactly how it would look in my mind. You know, my little fan fantastical mind. Alright, let's go ahead. Let's get the medical post. Plop that down here. Get these scumbags working on something. And then we'll take... Spin you around, getting used to the cameras. Food crate's depleted. Oh no. But we need more hunters then. Ten. You. One, two, three, four, five. We can only employ five at the time. Workers. Some people will take... Uh, some things will take engineers. Uh, but got things going on here, man. Uh oh, is that our coal? Is that our coal situation? Let's put the max amount of people on that. Gotta get after these coal pits, baby. We still haven't fulfilled this 200 stockpile, so I'm gonna try and get after that. Oh no, people are hungry. People are starving. Hunters, gatherers. Workers. Resting. So we got problems. We got problems, we got issues. But at least it's it's the rations, so it's not like the food rations that we have a hundred and five. The shift is ending. The shift is ending. That was a mighty quick workday, kids. Uh let's see. Food. I mean, we can't put any more people on the hunter, on the hunter side. Resources. Gathering post. Resource depot. Extends our storage capacity for those 
chosen resource coal, wood, steel, raw food, food rations. People working here gather resources from nearby coal piles. Oh, so it's just a just a straight up wood, just a straight up gather. So if I have to plant that out someplace, I don't know about all that. I I don't know about all that. Let's let's crawl before we walk here, kids. Tech workshops. Is there any laws that we have to try and pass here? Uh, hold on here. Oh, we built a medical hut. Oh, so good. Inoperative. It's operable now. How's it looking when it comes to heat? It's livable. So we have about a good one more like ring outside of here before we have to think about doing something else. Okay. But our hunters and gatherers, we really need to get a kraken. So let's go ahead. We'll take these workers out of here. We'll add them to our gathering hut, or our hunter's hut, and get them a working, get them a rolling. Seems like a good plan, and it seems like that's a good place to leave off for this episode. Folks, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of Frostpunk, which we're going to play a bunch of, we're going to be doing live streams. I'm sorry. Oh, hold on here a second. Weather changes. Oh, check this out. Temperature in the city is consistent, uh, constantly changing. Pay close attention to the forecast for the next five days that is shown to the right of the temperature at the top of the screen. Oh, oh okay. I didn't even notice that. Uh, thermometer icon indicates the direction of the temperature change. Hover the mouse over it for details. When it gets colder outside, the temperatures inside buildings drop as well. Buildings differ in the amount of protection they offer from the cold. To see all the factors attempt, uh, affecting temperature in the building, hover the mouse over the thermometer. Right, 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 right. right, so. Oh. Temperature will drop significantly. Two levels. So. Generator stress level. So we can put this on heat zone range level one. All right. And that's going to get everything rolling. Not research yet, he's alone, but we can turn on the overdrive and then that'll work through the cold winter. Like, the, we got two days, it looks like. And it's going to be start, uh, starting soon. The temperature will drop significantly two levels. So people are going to start getting sick. We're going to be starting to sniffles and sneezes. It's no bueno. There's no bueno, my friends. But, folks, like I was saying, uh, this is where we're going to leave off on this episode. So, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell for notifications for new videos coming every single day, every single week. So, everyone, peace out, like, shout out, y'all, and I will check you out right here again in Frostpunk next time.